The Complaint of the Fair Helmmaker Grown Old by Francois Villon Read by Mark Smith of Simpsonville, South Carolina This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Methought I heard the fair complain, The fair that erst was helmmaker, And wish herself a girl again. After this fashion did I hear, Alack! old age felon and drear why hast so early laid me low what hinders but i stay me here and so at one stroke end my woe thou hast undone the mighty thrall in which my beauty held for me clerks merchants churchmen one and all for never man my face might see but would have given his all for fee, without a thought of his abuse. So I should yield him at his gree, what churls for nothing now refuse. I did to many me deny, <laughs> therein I showed but little guile, for love of one right false and sly, whom without stint I loved erewhile. Whomever else I might be while, I loved him well, sorry or glad. But he to me was harsh and vile, and loved me but for what I had. Ill has he used me, and, however unkind, I loved him none the less. Even had he made me faggots bear, one kiss from him, or one caress, and I forgot my every stress. The rogue, twas ever thus the same with him. It brought me scantly ess, and what is left me? Sin and shame. Now is he dead this thirty year, and I'm grown old and worn and gray. When I recall the days that were, and think of what I am to-day, and when me naked i survey and see my body shrunk to naught withered and shrivelled well away for grief i am well nigh distraught where is that clear and crystal brow those eyebrows arched and golden hair and those bright eyes where are they now wherewith the wisest ravished were the little nose so straight and fair, the tiny tender perfect ear, where is the dimpled chin, and where the pouting lips so red and clear, the shoulders gent and straight and small, round arms and white hands delicate, the little pointed breasts withal, the haunches plump and high and straight, right fit for amorous debate wide hips and dainty calca shows betwixt broad firm thighs situate within its little garden close brows wrinkled sore and tresses gray the brows all fallen and dim the eyne that want to charm men's hearts away the nose that was so straight and fine now bent and swerved from beauty's line chin peaked ears furred and hanging down faded the face and quenched its shine and lips mere bags of loose skin grown such is the end of human grace the arms grown short and hands all thrawn, the shoulders bowed out of their place, the breasts all shriveled up and gone, the haunches like the paps withdrawn, the thighs no longer like to thighs, withered and mottled all like brawn, and fie on that between them lies. And so the litany goes round, lamenting the good time gone by, among us crouched upon the ground, poor silly hags too huddled by a scanty fire of hempstalks dry, 
kindled in haste, and soon gone out, we that once held our heads so high, so all take turn and turn about. This poem is in the public domain.